clothes on the ground I pretend I don't see Candy wrappers are found Between the bed and the sheets My succulents died a million times Now where do I get my oxygen? Guess I gotta go outside like a normal person Hola, buenos Hola. días. So where are we? Ah. Germany? Mm, close. A little bit more south, a little bit more Ah, Latin. Italy. Mm, very close. Oh. Okay, where are we then? Barcelona. Ah, such a beautiful horizon. Barcelona. You can something or other. <laughs> yes, we just arrived. It's March, but it's quite it's quite chilly today. It's actually colder here than in the UK. Mm. It's like 20 degrees in the UK. It's about mm. what, 18, 16 here? Mm. And but, so uh, now we're going to go on a tour of the old town. It might be cold outside, but it's warm in my heart. Oh. So what do you think so far, Where are we now? What's this area for? Left Rambas. Yeah? So what, what's going to happen now? We're getting into the Gothic Quarter. Gothic Quarter. Ah. The old part of the city, the old town. Oh, okay. The old town. Exciting. And this is the tour. See? And then this is the whole area. Quite interesting, and they're hanging out like this. <laughs> Going under a little old walkway. Yeah. Secret. Old town. <laughs> what are your thoughts about um, the tour? Tour? Um, so our tour guide, um, what was her name, Maria or something? Natalia. Natalia. Uh, she was um, very tall, <laughs> very informative. Yeah, she was great. Um, very thorough. I was oh, a look. Good, it was a good two hours. It's the hat shop. Hat shop, yeah. Sombrero. Look at all these hats. Can, Can you guess which one's my favourite hat? The Indiana Jones one. Correct. <laughs> it's called a fedora, isn't it? Mm.
So, Bob, what's, uh, what have you got to tell me? Something's going down. This is the Parliament building. Yeah. And these are a lot of people protesting about protesting. Do you want to shout uh, Republic España yeah. really loudly or something? <laughs> Let's have a look what's going on here. We're outside the main Catalonian King Spanish government building. It's evening, so all the workers and government officials have gone home. Oh, so you're so fixated on that. Protest. You're so fixated no on, that, on that piece of information. The way I see it, it's the evening. It's people's free time. This is when people can make uh, some serious, you know, impact. Because during the day Impacts they're working. On who? It doesn't Is matter. It's, it's, well, it, what do you think is going to happen? They've also not really got many signs. It's not clear what they're protesting about. Well, if you live here, you know. There we go. There's a sign there. La cotta mia cotta. That's uh, basically someone wants some ricotta cheese for dessert. Ah, it's about One of the things that Barcelona is most famous for is the architecture created by Gaudi in the first part of the 20th century. We've got all the sort of wavy building here, which reminds me a lot of the Little Mermaid being under the sea. And we've been taking it in, we've just been on a Gaudi tour, haven't we, Steph? Mm, yeah. What are your thoughts and reactions to Gaudi's architecture? Thoughts on Gaudi's architecture? Well, first of all, um... I thought Gaudi was a condition that uh, caused pain in the feet. And then but I've been subsequently told that's gout. That's gout and it's not in your feet. Then I thought it was a smelly cheese, but apparently it's Gouda. So um, when I realised Gaudi was a famous uh, local artist architect. Um, See, not only do I entertain, I educate as well. Carry entertain, on. educate and inform. That's, that's me in a uh, sentence. Um, Gaudi, so, so his architecture is, um, I think his talent's been over-exaggerated. I think it leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, it's fancy in some ways, it's famous because it's unusual, um, but at the end of the day, the proof in the pudding is in the eating, and I definitely don't want to eat any of his architecture. No, too much stone. I think we felt it was a wee bit style over substance. No, it was a bit a too bit fancy fancy. It was quite it, ugly. Yeah, actually when it boils down to it, it's quite ugly. So but you know, it's memorable and people want to come and see it. And uh, you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't mind looking at it, but you wouldn't want to live in it. No. There you go. There's your sentence. There's so your headline. No, no line in that building. We just went in the back straight. Lines. straight. Everything's the curvy. floor and the ceiling. So literally, you feel seasick walking around. Yeah. The, the floor and the ceiling are kind of wavy. Yeah. You feel quite disorientated. Yeah. So not very practical if you want to live here. You feel seasick all the time. See.
morning. Take two. Take two. Where are we today, Steph? Um, hang on. Madrid? No, we'll give you a clue. What's that? This looks like a, is that a corner shop? La Cathedral di Familia. Ah, Cathedral di Familia. Another Gaudi creation. Gaudi, so it's not made of cheese. No. It's made by the architect formerly known as Gaudi. And still known as Gaudi. No, he changed his name a few times. He was like a bit mad, wasn't he? He said he was like from the sea. On the sea. Right, yeah. finished our tour, um, audio book, audio guide tour that came with the ticket of the cathedral. What are your thoughts? Um, so the cathedral or cathedral mm -hmm. uh, is quite uh, ugly from the outside in my opinion. But it's when quite you beige isn't it on the when outside? When you go inside it's actually quite uh, inspiring when you first walk in because it's just, you can't quite work out how he's made it because it's just like loads of trunks, really long trunks mm. going all the way up to the ceiling. They're like and, trees, and, right? It's meant to be like trees. Yeah, you're like in a man-made forest, like a massive forest. And the, the natural light that he's able to have coming through because there are no chapels. So it's like a lot of open space. It's quite smart, it's quite impressive. It felt very clean and modern and pretty. And <clears throat> I liked all the stained glass windows and it had like, um, a sort of greeny, bluey one that was like the forest window, and then like an orange red, like the sunrise window. That was cool. Oh, scary Spanish people. We got people. drunk people. Let's have a look at the drunk people quickly. Yeah. Basically, he had a bottle of whiskey in his hand and he was having a great time. Arc de Triomphe, which was built about 100 years ago, I think, to as a copy of Paris because they were trying to bring up the standings of Barcelona. Someone's not a very happy cat over here because it's raining. Not happy, are you? Not impressed. Called second wind cat. It's a long, long person inside. You're excited about this, aren't you? Dr. Stravinsky. Ah. A very mustachioed cat. <laughs>
made it to your restaurant. We certainly did. And here we are on the barrel. And I didn't have you over a barrel. We're eating at a barrel. Mmm, lucky me. This ham. Mmm, mmm, mmm. bread. We got some barber. Here's the rest of the restaurant. And here's the main course. And here's the star of the show. Okay. Can you give me give me some immediate thoughts? Just a few words that first come into your head. Egg is obviously a big one. I know that, yeah, well done. It tastes like a steak tartare. I don't really get that. I mean, if, if, if somebody has never had a steak tartare, how would you describe it to them? Slightly meaty, slightly herby. Yeah. Slightly eggy. Yeah. It's kind of like a steak was turned into a baby food. Okay, so it's like Dragon's Den meets Apprentice meets a steak flavoured baby food brand. It's steak baby. Yeah. Steak baby. It's like a steak baby. Okay, well on that note, thank you for the Arnold, thank you for the steak, and good night. Well, here we are. Here we are. At the restaurant that we worked so hard to get to the table at. What? Yeah. And you've asked for the secret Arnold. We, we call eggs Arnold because you know someone who... Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's not worry about it. What's most important right now is... We're about to have a secret dessert, okay? And we're gonna have a secret dessert tasting from hers truly, not yours truly, it's gonna be from hers truly. And we're gonna be waiting patiently for the insightful, intense comments that's gonna come from the person that's gonna taste it. So let's go. So here we go. Just come and lay this egg. Here is the secret egg. That's the secret it's egg quite dessert. Hard. It's hard. I don't know how to get in it. Wait, just do it nicely. It's a dessert, babe. It's, it's really not. Hard. It's not an actual egg. It's hard. It's hard an egg. Right, I've got a little bit of the side. Okay. Mm. Uh, and. Mm. It's like a very intense vanilla. Okay. What do you think is inside the egg? It's the white stuff is definitely vanilla. I'm not sure about what the center is. Okay, well, let's, let's just eat it. Muy bien. Mm. So you're just going, mmm, which to be honest isn't great for it's online. Okay. Well done. Correct. Okay. So I see that there's some kind of scent in here. Okay. Excellent. It's almost like you've only just recently discovered Look, it's, YouTube. It's kind of red. I know. You've destroyed the egg now, so there's no egg left for me. Thanks. It's a peach. It's a, pe it's a peach. It's a peach. Ah. You're having my yolk. It's a peach. And on that note, we'll bid you adieu. Thank you. Sorry. It looks like Crib Brunet now. Hello, it's our last day in Barcelona today and we're walking up a very steep hill to Park Guell, which is where there's even more Gaudi stuff, so we're gonna go and see that. Stephen's gone on ahead.
Uh, it's like jazz, but in architectural part hmm. form. What do you mean so, by that? Well, like it's, uh, it's very insightful. Like someone who's not restrained by anything from the creative music, whatever the materials they want. Hmm. So tell tell me what's your opinion of Park Guell? Busy, yeah, and it's quite expensive, right? Just not often you have to pay to go in the park. What about paying twice? What are your thoughts on paying twice? No, you don't want to do this pay, you have to pay again just to get up there, right? Seems a bit yeah, right. We just came from all the way over there, didn't we? It's like a park all the way over here. We've come down, and then we find out you have to pay to then go into here, this bit here. No uh, and you've got we've got this house here. Gingerbread house. Gingerbread house here. We've got another gingerbread house there. It's pretty cool. Got some weird mosaic stuff going on. We've got a lizard over there in the distance. There's only one cafe for the whole park. So that's grand. Definitely missing a trick selling ice cream. Well, I would, I would say this probably depicts his mental state. Chaotic, disorganized, but um, dreamlike. All right. Adios, amigos. So, Kat, <laughs> we're now a uh, final day of the Barcelona final trip. Um, we're about to have our last lunch, have a few glasses of wine, then head off. Could I have a top three highlights, please, of mm. Barcelona? Um, recommendations mm. for others who want to come to Barcelona anytime soon? I think the cathedral. Because okay. from the, Some, so much like hype and yeah. it's beautiful to look at from afar, but then when you go in, yeah. the colours of the stained glass windows and the space and everything was really special. And, yeah. Um, very Agreed. memorable. So I think that'd be number one. Numero un. Numero uno. Y numero dos, el nacional. The yes. place we went um, a couple of times. See, see, see. Beautiful Art Deco interior mm -hmm. with all different restaurants inside, mm. all perfect food, amazing food. We had the oysters there, the different mm -hmm. hams. And then I think third would be the Segway. Yeah. Because we found the perfect mode of transportation for Steph. And we got a private tour because no one else booked on. Yeah, we were lucky, weren't we? So, we had the guy all to ourselves, and he was really cool, really fun guy. So that's it. So we're heading to the airport soon, back to London. Yeah, this um, is the final we'll supper, isn't the next it? Adventure. It's the final <laughs> supper. Yeah, final supper. And uh, <coughs> oh, oh, hairball there from Cat Sophie. <laughs> that's going to go in the. Uh, that's got to go in the outtakes. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, as you can see. As you can see, we've just polished off our food in La Terezza by Anna. Um, which I'll just show everyone. It doesn't look super busy, but it's actually a really nice part of Barcelona. Top Very of the nice. Anna Hotel. Top of the Anna Hotel is actually a nice little spot, really. It really is. I spy a feline creature examining <laughs> what can be described as a cross between a burger, a panini, and. and a fish. 
Well, a fish for you because it's got salmon. There's not much fishy about this. It's basically got pork in it. So, it's like a, one of, is it calzone pizza that they fold over, but not folded? <laughs> it has it has elements of a calzone. It has elements of a sandwich. It has elements of a breakfast and a dinner. Um, it doesn't know what it is. It's having an identity crisis. But what it will be is eaten, and then we will let you know what it's like. So on that note, thank you Barcelona, we bid you adieu and salut. Adios. Adios amigos. Cat. Video cat. Hola. ¿Qué tal? What do you think of the octopus? A bit too many legs for my liking. Definitely not legless. All I know is octopuses are very intelligent so we need to stop eating them because they're more intelligent than dogs we don't eat them mm. okay My words of wisdom for the day sage advice